In this video, we walk through the install of a 4G wireless router, which is made by GLI Net. I hope you enjoy it. When I first bought this boat, I bought this travel router. It's a GL750AR. I'll leave the part numbers in the description. But basically what it allows you to do is it allows you to connect to Wi-Fi, like the Marina Wi-Fi. So this device connects to the Marina Wi-Fi and then everything on board connects to this Wi-Fi. So everything can connect uh, individually. Today I'm gonna swap this and I'm gonna swap it an LTE version from the same manufacturer. The part itself is awesome, but it really doesn't tether very well to my iPhone. Not because of this device, but because the iPhone is, is not great for, for tethering to. Since they updated software versions, it made it really difficult to tether to. And I like to do that to listen to Pandora and other stuff like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this and swap it for, for the new one. I may need to move it to a different place, because it has a different, like, uh, it looks different, I'll show you. So this is what the new one looks like, and this one is what they call a Spitz. It is a GLX750 Spitz, and it's an LTE gateway, and I've put a SIM in there, and the SIM is a T-Mobile SIM, and it costs me about $30 a month for about 10 megabits, and it works great. It's just plug and play with T-Mobile. I tried to get it to work with AT&T, and I struggled and I called them and I got support from the manufacturer and basically they just didn't want to play together. So i not playing that game, I just went to T-Mobile instead. I also bought the, this is the fitting kit for it, I'll open that up, but it basically, that bolts to the surface and then this clips into it. Um, so I'm gonna, today I'm gonna install that. So first things first, I'm gonna crimp on these, uh, and it came with a, a 120 plug on it, but it's 120 to 12 volts. Now, I talked to the uh, support people, and support people said that this device will take somewhere between 10.2 volts and 18 volts. So it should be great for, for just using the, uh, the 12 volt straight uh, battery straight. So I'm gonna crimp this onto here. And luckily, the, uh, I, was, I cut this off last night and I was thinking to myself, uh, I'll have to use something to check the voltages and I did but uh, luckily the wire is red that is 12 volts and white that is is not 12 volts so that makes that easier it's not always like that so there we have it the wires are crimped on uh, I already took a screw out to check that, uh, that it fits through the hole. So that's that. I'm gonna open open this here. I'm gonna put the wire in first because I don't know where I can mount it with the length of wire that I've got. Um, but this is what this comes at and it basically clips, it clips on. So screw this in and then clip that to it. Um, see how strong it is. It's, the whole thing doesn't weigh that much. I'm sure it's fine. The other one uh, isn't like that. I, I basically, the other one I just cable tied in place uh, with cable ties that have a screw hole on the end so that I can screw them in place. So you can see that right here, there's a, there's a screw there and there's a screw here. It holds the thing in place. And it's been like that for two years. It's, it's pretty uh, convenient. It works really well. So I don't know if you'd see it here, but I have a fuse box right there. And that fuse box is, is connected to uh, the circuit that powers the Pi, right? So this will follow that as well. Whenever the Pi's turned on, this will be turned on as well. Uh, I'll put a fuse in, appropriate fuse. I've got some ones and I've got some threes, so I'll put, probably put a three in there because it says two, volt, two uh, amps. But I think one would probably be enough, but I'll put three in for now and we'll see what happens. So I'm gonna put it there right now. 
So I already set up everything on here, right? So I already set up the what the Wi-Fi is called and everything. So what I'm going to do here, and this is plugged in directly, so the Raspberry Pi is plugged directly into the router. Um, I am going to do a speed test and see how fast we're getting. Um, it's currently connected by T-Mobile, and we are seeing... Taking a long time to connect. Let's see. Twelve and a half, twelve megabits, something like that. I'll see how it will look at this more because the other day in my home I was getting more like thirty. But maybe that's the Maybe that's the uh, Raspberry Pi because I'm getting 25 on upload. So download was 11 and upload was more like 30 or 29. So there we have it. I'm going to do the same thing with from my phone and see what happens. So let's connect. I will connect to the to the Wi-Fi. Oh, I already, I'm already connected to the Wi-Fi because it was connected to the previous and the, oh, everything's the same. So it's connected to the Wi-Fi. If I go here and do the speed test. All right, let's see. Let's see what, uh, what this gives me. Yeah, 25, 29 on de uh, download. And about the same as the other one on upload. So it's pretty fast. It's fast enough. I should be able to listen to Pandora, which is what I want to do with it. Maybe, maybe work from the boat every so often as well. Somebody pointed out to me.